Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So today I'm going to share a little Sephora haul um, that I got with you. I Most of the products I got on here were because of other people from YouTube. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a YouTube made me do it kind of haul. So the first product that I went to Sephora to purchase was this um, because of a friend of mine from YouTube. Uh, and it's the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. It's 24 hour wear and it really, I've been wearing it for, um, for like at least four or five days now. It's super nice. A um, couple things about it. Uh, it's really good if your skin is really bad at the moment like my skin right now is uh, it just started breaking out really badly so I needed something to cover it up this covers it up phenomenally it stays on a long time it does need a powder to set it though because it's very kind of sticky if you don't set it um, so that's one thing I found out with this foundation Love the foundation, but you have to set it with some kind of powder. I've been using the Armani Luminous Silk uh, powder, and it works out really, really nicely. I didn't, I don't know, I, I was recommended this like probably like several months ago when I said, I'm going to Sephora, what do you recommend? A lot of people said that they liked this foundation too, and I just didn't want it. Um, and I think it's because I'm like, oh, it's Kat Von D. How good can that be, you know? And it's great. <laughs> so um, I really, really like it. Uh, highly recommend it uh, if you need a full coverage foundation or one that's like gonna last all day for an event or something like that. It's really, really perfect. Okay, so the next product that I picked up was this Ico London Alexa Chung Number One Limited Edition Alexa Chung Eye Do Mascara and Liquid Eyeliner Set. It includes an exclusive Alexa poster. I didn't look at the poster yet. So it comes in this huge tube. Um, which is a little bit ridiculous, but if the poster is really cool, then, uh, there's your poster. Um, I don't need this poster, uh, but I got it for the two products. Use them today for the first time, so I really can't give you a complete honest review. Tissue paper inside was pretty cute. Um, I like that. Uh, the two products, the mascara came with a guitar pick, so it's like, you know, really cool if you're like into that so it came with a little guitar pick um i don't know how i like it yet to be honest with you um the eyeliner seems nice so far if you've been watching my videos for a while you probably know i'm a huge fan of the lancome art liner liquid liner and um after i used the ico liquid liner which i've heard great things about from youtube um, I went and put my Lancome on top of it. It's nice, and it seems nice, and it seems probably like for someone that's beginning liquid liner, this is probably a little bit even easier than the Lancome one. Um, it looks like this, and it's just a felt tip, but I don't think it got as black as my liquid liner. Um, so I don't know. Uh, it seems good. Um, but my eyes feel really sticky and I don't know if it's because I didn't set my um, foundation properly or if it's from the um, mascara and everything but this is mascara I've already had to wipe um, my, my brow bones from the mascara in this set because it already kind of uh, got on there and I've been using the Kat Von D uh, foundation for a while so I don't know um, I'm not like super impressed with it yet. So that's just my honest opinion of this. I've heard a lot of people talk about it and love it. And maybe I will grow to love it. And if I do, I'll let you all know. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Just not so good yet. And then the last two products that I picked up while I was there were by Hourglass. I've heard Makeup by Tiffany D talk a lot about Hourglass lately. And she has especially liked the Hourglass um, lighting powder and so I decided to get one I got the one in mood light and I used it today um, but I haven't really looked at myself today so I don't know if I like it or not it's just a really pretty powder I think I'll like it because any kind of recommendation she's ever um, had I always love so I feel like this is a good one I also had a lot of people on my Facebook mention it and um, on my Twitter mention this as well um, so lots of people reinforced that it was a good product. So I picked this up. Um, yeah, 
I just really needed foundation. That's why I've been using the foundation um, for the past couple days, and that's why I haven't used the other stuff is because I don't, I just, I leave it in the bag so I'm like, I need to do that haul video, I need to do that haul video. And then today I got excited because I'm like, I can do the haul video so I can dip into my makeup. Um, and then the last thing I got from Hourglass um, was one of their lipsticks because it looked really pretty. And this is nude number one. It's a femme nude lipstick. It's a lip stylo. Is that how you say that? Satin finish. Um, really felt a little awkward putting it on. Uh, it looks like so. It just looks like kind of like a crayon. And I don't know why. It's not really that awkward, but it just was like, just kind of odd to me. Um, and it feels like, I'm not 100% sure how it feels yet. It's, it feels a little bit dry on my lips, so I want my first reaction after I put it on is to put a gloss on top of it. Um, so that's just my first reaction with this particular lipstick, but we'll see. It seems like a nice color and everything. Um, I like it. It's like that perfect pinky nude color. Um, so yeah. Those are all the products that I purchased from Sephora, and since I'm a beauty insider at Sephora, and I had a lot of points to use, and they had something I liked, so I used the points for that. I got the fresh little set that they have right now. It's fresh, fresh is best sellers. Um, I love fresh. Uh, I love their lotion. Um, I love their lip. Uh, what is it called? It's like a lip treatment. I love that stuff. Um, so this comes with a little Seaberry moisturizing facial oil. It's a very tiny little tube of it, but it is just like a sampler pack, so what do you expect? Um, a little, like a serum, I guess, a little face serum. Ooh. I just did order a new um, skincare, uh, skincare set, which I'm really excited to get, so I'll do a video when that comes, which should be in the next couple days, but I've been wanting to try this line forever, so I can't wait to show you all. Um, then I got with this a Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream with Super 7 Complex. This seems like a pretty big jar of this stuff. Feels heavy. Um, and the, when I, usually when it's a cream, it lasts for a while because it's usually nice and thick. Um, and I've never had any reactions with Fresh. That's part of the reason I really like the company is because they have like body lotions that are scented that I can actually use that smell just really nice. Um, so that came with it, and then it feels like a lot of yucky tissue, and then the soy face cleanser, which um, I've actually never used, but I feel like I've gotten tons of samples of it, but I've never used it. So maybe tonight I'll use my fresh stuff, um, since it's only like a little bit, maybe I'll just use it for the next couple nights, and then when my new stuff comes, uh, then I can start using that, but I don't think you can get a good enough review, but you can get an idea if you're gonna like it or not. And I just keep feeling like my eyelids are sticky. <sighs> it's driving me nuts. So I think it's a combination of the Kat Von D uh, foundation not being set properly by myself and the mascara wants to stick up onto my brow bone, which sucks. Um, lovely poster. Lovely, lovely. Um, but that is it for now. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them below, and I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.